Tomate. Tomate. Paradise. <laughs> it's from the Italian word pomodoro. So we use the Italian version. <laughs> <laughs> but tomatoes used as well, just to soy. Hello! Hello, my name is Denise, I'm from Austria. Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm from Germany. Hi, my name is Dilara and I'm from Switzerland. I would guess 50-50, so half are the same, half are different. Just from hearing and observing Swiss and Germans. I think it's different, it's different. I think that's like the biggest difference we have in our like languages. It's probably a tiny bit different, the pronunciation part. Fully a different word, depending on what it is. In German we would say süß. In Switzerland we would say süß. In Austria we would say süß. I think in Austrian accent there was not like, süß is like we, we say it with an S. And it sounds like it was with a Z, with a, oh. you know, like mm -hmm. Zia, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounded like... We just add an E in it, like Zuyas, like not just the U, the U with double dots. I think also the spelling is different. We would write it S-U-A-S, mm -hmm. rather than in German, just three letters. The German. You think so? I think so, because it's mm -hmm. Zuyas. But many people have problems with the German pronunciation because it's like so different and because we pronounce it very harsh. Mm. Oh, know? true. This could true. be like Good süß. Point. And people are like, oh, how can I say that? Like, mm. True, the S is very sharp. Yeah. <laughs> true. In German we say Kartoffel. In Switzerland we say Hartöpfel. In Austria we say Erdöpfel or Kartoffel. I think there's a different word. It's like Erdapfel. And many people might not know this word. I mean, you could try to guess because it has it's German, so it means like earth and apple. apple. Yeah. So it's it's like an apple from the ground. So you can like oh maybe she means potato. Like you can try <laughs> to get through this word. But I think you could understand it as a German like Kartoffel. Uh, we also say? in Swiss German we also say Kartoffel. So it's we, we use both words. So either it's Erdöpfel or Kartoffel. We say Hartöpfel or Kartoffel. Just the pronunciation yeah. a little bit. So Hartöpfel, we say like, I think it's like a hidden H in it. Yeah. Hartöpfel, that's the main difference I would say. Yeah, we would just Erdöpfel. Yeah, true, like a little. And then Kartoffel, I think, was the same. Is same, yeah, there's no big difference. You just have the Swiss K again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In German, we would say niedlich. In Swiss German, we say herzig. In Austria, we say lieb. But those are all German words. Like, you would understand as a German. You would know what they mean. Like, maybe uh, in Austrian, it would be like lieb. Oh, am I nice? You know? Mm. It would be like, maybe because this word is used as a different meaning. And I really like the Swiss one. It's so cute. Like, herzig, it means herzig. like... Herzig. Yeah, uh, hearty almost. Like, yeah, yeah, like maybe like hearts because hearts is from heart and maybe herzig combined from that. I don't know the origin, but <laughs> we say herzig, you would understand because same like in Austria, we also have to learn German in school. So like everything we do in school is in German, the books are in German. So that's why it's easier for us to understand. In German, we say tomato. In Swiss German, we say tomate. In Austria, we say Paradise. <laughs> it's from the Italian word Pomodoro. So we use the Italian version. <laughs> Paradise. But tomatoes okay. used as well, just to say Paradise. I would not know. I would not know. Like I, I mean, would be like, well, what, what, what do you want? Like, <laughs> not, not in a bad uh, Paradise. I don't know. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's so different. Like, yeah. I also wouldn't know the Paradise one. <laughs> It comes from paradise. Yeah. Like, I hate tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Paradise. Paradise. Yeah, very good. Paradise. Beautiful. It was not that hard to pronounce it. Same. I think it's because we almost use the same like phonetically alphabet that it's easy for us to just pronounce this kind of word. Yeah. In German we say Küche. In Swiss German we say Kuchen. In Austria we say Kuchen. Can you repeat that? Kuchen. Kuchen. Yeah. It's, it sounds like Kuchen in German. Oh, it's and like that would mean cake. 
I mean, if you're from Germany and maybe she would talk about like a kitchen mm. and she said like Kuche, maybe people are like, oh, cake. <laughs> it could yes. happen. True, yeah, it sounds like. Yeah. It's uh, also, we say cake is also similar. Kuche, we just add a small E in it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, maybe it might be a bit confusing, but Kuche, 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 like everything is kind of similar. We just changed the, I don't know, like the cake, Kuchen. We say Kuche and Kuchi, Kuch. It changes to an O. <laughs> I don't know why. That's a bit different, the second letter. Yeah. In German, it's you spell it with an umlaut, you know, the U with the little dots. But in ours, I don't mm. think we do, right? Yeah. So it's just a normal yeah. U. Yeah. In German, we say Fahrrad. In Swiss German, we say Velo. <laughs> in Austria, we say <laughs> Rad. Fahrrad. That's a different yeah. word. It's a right? different word, yeah. Velo. Wow. Velo. Yeah, Velo. <laughs> but I like it because it's yeah. short. Yeah, Velo. Yeah. It's easy. I think if somebody would speak French, because I think it's from French, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think bike in French is Velo as well. Velo. So I think if somebody Maybe. would speak French, they could guess Maybe. it. But other than that, no. How no would way. you say you're gonna ride the bike in Swiss? If I had a Velo. I would think she's taking an Uber or something. <laughs> Maybe it's like some kind of new Uber or something, I don't know. It sounds like an app, yeah. <laughs> it's always interesting learning new words and also learning that the words you use are not used somewhere else. So good to be cautious. I actually love it because I can use new, wor new words I learned and I can just say I'm going to take the velo. <laughs> It's really interesting to hear the different pronunciations, especially for the, the word tomato. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. The Austrian version one, Paradise, Austrian one, and I like it a lot. Oh. Yeah. It was Velo. I like Velo. I like also like the Austrian word for tomato, Paradise. I like it's the same with her. It's like so different, so that's why you're like, oh, yeah. I would also say Velo, because it's very different than what yeah. we would say. Sometimes, like when I speak in German and I use Swiss words, my friends are like, mm, "What does that mean?" And after that, I realize, "Oh wait, that's just used in Swiss German." So, <laughs> like Velo is one of. I also like Herzig. Herzig. <laughs> oh yeah. Today we compare German words. If you like the video, like and subscribe. We will see you soon. Bye bye. bye. bye.